Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Disastrous Life of Psyche K Season 4 or uh, The Reaw Reawakened Arc or Shidohen uh, Episode number 5 and 6 uh, reaction final two episodes of this whole series and uh, yeah these are two final episodes and uh, the, I'm guessing the story is going to end here and uh, I'm guessing we're going to get like an explanation as to what happened in the previous arc the little 40 minutes episode that we saw uh the one where uh psyche like stops the eruption then he decides to take away his powers and then something happens and they, they like end up in a weird cliffhanger i'm guessing we're going to get an explanation for that over here this being the final two episodes All right the previous episode uh two episodes we met two new characters actually uh, one was, um, I don't remember the guy's name, but uh, the teacher who looks like a, you know, like a questionable character. Uh, and uh, the unlucky girl who is, uh, I, I also forgot her name, you know, who, who got somehow, uh, you know, like got into misunderstanding with Reta and now she likes him. And uh, yeah, these two characters we met and uh, there was a few things that happened with them, few shenanigans. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing these two characters were probably in the manga, but we never got to see them in the anime. However, in the final season, they decided to add them and give us a few episodes with them. So, all right. Anyways, um, let's get started. Let's see how this ends. Episode number five. Uh, let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles in the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Bully Rescue Mr. Iguchi Oh Iguchi that's his name The teacher Damn Oh my god <laughs> Oh no Uh Okay, a lot of people have accepted him. Oh, six months. Ah, there you go. Yeah, understandable. Another problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's kick him off. What? Yeah? Oh my god, what? <laughs> well... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. You think that they're bullying him or something? Uh. <laughs> ah, you're kind of right, I guess. Possible, but. Boxer? <laughs> Ah, uh, you're right about that. <laughs> he's half right, he's half wrong. <laughs> hey, yo, what's with your face? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh no. Coco means. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, hi, Ro. 
He's like, why are they talking with him? Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! <laughs> His face. It's amazing. <laughs> you see, you think they're beating him up or something. Oh, my God. Uh, he's unlocking it, okay. Oh! Oh no, he's gonna misunderstand. <laughs> <Have it your way. laughs> real, real escape room. Oh no, is this like. What? Is this like a. Huh. <laughs> First mister <laughs> Oh no, here we go. It's a little bit like Psyche. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh boy. Which is true, you know, I understand. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yep, let's speak. Great. Great. <laughs> Wait, what the? And then an elevator. What? Great. Yeah, what, what's up? What's up? Where's the event? Oh no, they mistook it. Oh my god, they're somewhere else. They're actually stuck. <laughs> Yo! Great, he, he they're actually stuck. Great. <laughs> Nendo is not concerned. No, he, his head is blank. He's not understanding what's going on. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Make it be instead. Yeah. Oh, uh, th there it is. Nice. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh my god, it's like one of those. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's the pattern. Yes. Was Psyche doing it? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you going to do? 
No, he said he's going to. Oh no. Wait, what chips? Oh, nice. <laughs> Weekend with best friends. Oh, wow, what a nice title. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while you've seen him. Oh god. <laughs> now his mom will be like yep <laughs> i've seen you before What? <laughs> yeah, you're telling that. <laughs> well, he he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> Don't tell her. That. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, well anyone can. Why are you <laughs> oh boy wow okay but he won't be able to ah oh. It's probably deducing it. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> which is true. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> He's reading the horses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem here. He gave him the Oh no. He gave him the opportunity first. So Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> So it's covers as Sato, love content. Whoa, oh my God. Curry's coffee and, uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, he
<laughs> He's skipping it. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all in my head. Oh no, here we go. Again. Great, you guys. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Received even more damage. Oh no. Yeah. Great. Ooh. <laughs> Mob. <laughs> Ooh, why? He lost. Oh boy. <laughs> well, great. Huh? House burned down? <laughs> oh no. Convenient. Ah, Psyche is following them. Oh boy. No, something is going to happen. Great. Oh no, this is a compass. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, red. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. It's just a chicken. <laughs> oh boy. Spirit guy. Oh no. What the? Oh my god. Fighting over a second part. What is this? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I didn't say I will. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is an interesting proposal because if he actually agrees to do that, this will actually show... Okay, I'll talk about this later. Yeah, it's like... He's never done this before. It's like he's helping someone without any thing to repay him. <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> oh, another one of the psychic curses here. Uh Psychicus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> yeah. Sharing it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fake? Oh. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, what the? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, what about the, what about the poop on his head? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Memorial service. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa. Uh, is it? <coughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. I feel like she's going to reject uh No, no, let's see. Oh, that's it. Like, okay, I'll talk about this later. Uh not later, but after the ended credit scene. Okay, let's talk about it now. Uh we can see this a little like you know like the way how we got introduced to Reita at the beginning and little by little we can see he's also changed a lot. <laughs> Like he was this <laughs> he was this one guy who was just always like you know like oh something is you know is going to help him out and like it's something that is uh merit merit something that's uh going to be merit uh, uh what's that word anything that is going to be helpful to him and that is going to be like provide him something back like repay him He's not going to do anything without any merit. I, okay, yeah, that's the word I'm, I'm trying to find. He's not going to do anything without any real merit to himself up until now. However, I think this is the first time we see him actually helping someone out without any repayment, I guess. But that's what I'm trying to say here, like, which kind of shows how he has changed at least a little bit. <laughs> uh you know like and it's kind of nice to see that because i was not expecting anything any kind of character development for him like i felt like he was one of those characters who's like you know mogami uh but okay is that it yeah like who's never going to get any character development by the end but turns out no he is obviously a character who has a lot of flaws <laughs> but in the end he he did like you know kind of get a little bit of character development especially with that episode uh the previous uh you know like the kanketsu hen where we got to see him playing one of the major roles over there and him being uh one of the biggest help to like you know psyche not only that um you know like uh we, we saw a lot of character development over there here in this episode we also kind of see it a little bit so i'm kind of happy about that like because I was really not expecting any kind of change in his character. Really, I actually thought he would be a similar character like Mogami, you know, like that one uh, perverted sleazebag, you know, just just always 
doing these type of things but he did change you know and he did get a fair share of character development he became one of the psychicals he helped psyche out a lot of times even though most of the times he made more trouble for psyche but there were certain times when he really helped psyche out and uh, yeah all in all um he he did he did get a good character development and uh, there you go all right uh, this episode we begin this episode with okay wait a minute what was his name i forgot his name again uh iguchi yeah mr iguchi mr iguchi <laughs> He's, he's kind of like, you know, like getting used to the class. Everyone is getting used to him. Six months has passed. And nowadays, students, whenever they bump into him, they kind of get startled at the beginning, but they're fine with it. They're like, oh, it's you, Mr. Iguchi. Ha ha. And, uh, you know, like sometimes they do get to see his weird side coming out where he just always pants heavily, like, you know, sweats, starts sweating. Like, you know, <laughs> oh my God, drool starts coming out of his mouth. Like, you know, these are the sections when they do get a little bit weird out of it weirded out but it's mr iguchi so yeah they're, they're kind of used gotten used to it so mr iguchi is having a problem he thinks nendo is being bullied because nendo doesn't talk to anyone he's like you know people avoid him and he he's like oh what like you know his hair is also a little bit different i feel like they're bullying him and made, <laughs> made him keep a hairstyle like this his chin is swollen obviously it's like the the chin the what did they call it the um the dimple chin, I think, yeah, that's what they call it. Uh, he's like, oh, maybe someone punched him, like, you know, continuously punches him or something. And he, he, he remembers people just saying like, oh, Nando, you know, he's dumb. And like, you know, like that. And he thinks that's like, like them bullying Nando or something. So all in all, he's thinking that, ah, these guys must be, something must be happening. I need to keep an eye on Nando. And obviously the two people who are, you know, like closest to Nando except Psyche are, uh, mm, Kubasu and uh, um, Kaido, yeah, Kubasu and Kaido, and he kind of keeps an eye on them, and he thinks Kaido is a delinquent. <laughs> like half of them were correct, half of them were wrong. His whole deduction about Kaido was completely wrong because obviously he's a junie. That's why he bandages his, ha his hand, and he thinks he's a he does boxing or something. But <coughs> deductions on Kubayasu were kind of correct he was like oh maybe he's like a, he was like a former delinquent or something maybe he's related to some gangs or something <clears throat> those are kind of correct and you know Psyche is like listening to all of them and Psyche is kind of just uh kind of retorting like whenever he's saying something about Kaido completely wrong Psyche is like nope you're completely wrong while when he was talking about Kubayasu Psyche was like yeah you know that is true <clears throat> So, <laughs> I love the faces that he makes, it's crazy, and he like, then he's like, like, you know, peeking from the side in a weird way, and all the girls are like, what the hell is that, that's horrifying, <laughs> please go get a teacher, <laughs> oh boy, <clears throat> and, uh, okay, so he, he's like, keeping an eye out, and like, you know, sees Teruhashi coming, and like, you know, talking, and, uh, you know, Hiro comes in, and then he's like, wait a minute, Hiro is the student council, like not student council, like class president. So he, I am probably misunderstood about the bullying part. Let me just leave. And he just leaves and he hears Hiro talking about, oh, let's beat, I'll beat him, you know, in the recess. Obviously, he's talking about basketball. And he, <laughs> Mr. Iguchi is like, wait, what? So is he getting bullied? Is he really getting bullied? <laughs> oh, boy. And then in the recess, he goes to the you know like the the gym room and he's like trying to open he's like oh no you know sounds are coming of the base uh, basketball like you know bouncing and he's like oh no they're hitting him they're hitting him in the chin you know like i need to save him <laughs> and i love the fact that in like you know like the the misunderstanding was not actually solved in in that moment when psyche decided to open the lock so that he can get in and see that they're actually playing basketball you know that's why psyche opened the lock but such bad timing is that that is exactly when Nendo gets hit, you know, in his in his crotch and he just falls down and everyone's like, like, you know, just just <laughs> squatting in front of him. And Mr. Iguchi is like, oh, no, he's getting bullied. And Psyche is like, like, what the hell? I am out. Like, and I can't be bothered. <laughs> I tried to help them, but the timing was so bad. 
uh, but later on they talked to him and uh, cleared up the misunderstanding so it's fine <clears throat> now the next one was the locked room no, no sorry escape room uh, like you know like the the thing that they were doing and they're like oh a real life escape room like you know event is starting s somewhere and they're like let's go there and <laughs> they deliberately at first was like nope nendo's not coming like, this requires brain <laughs> so they decided to bring in psyche but psyche is like oh i won't be able to come and he shows nendo the pay poster so that nendo joins in and psyche is like thank god they did not include me now these four can go have their own fun and i'll go back to my house <laughs> and uh, yeah so he goes to his house and uh, he's like all right you know what let's look at what's happening uses clairvoyance and bam everyone's stuck in an elevator in a random abandoned building <laughs> kaido misread the map and <laughs> brought them somewhere completely different from the event and they're actually stuck now and nendo's not understanding nendo's like oh what's happening i don't know while well, these three are panicking <laughs> oh boy and uh <clears throat> So, <laughs> and then the suddenly Nendo's like, oh, don't worry, guys. You know, like, I, and then he says that, oh, he actually has to go to the, like, you know, to, uh, to the toilet. He, he hasn't pooped. <laughs> and everyone gets freaked out. They're like, oh, no, we need to get out of here as soon as possible. So Saki's like, all right, I'm going to help you guys out. So he decides to apport. There was like, a, I think he said like a thousand dollar bills over there underneath the, the, the elevator thing. So he apported like a crowbar, I think, yeah, using that. And uh, that is how they're able to open the door. But again, there is like the the number, like, you know, like the, the sequence thing where you need to put the correct sequence of number, otherwise it won't open. And uh, they're like, all right, let's 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 do this. And uh, the trying out numbers, obviously they don't know what to put, but Psyche helps out again making those uh, numbers light up in a sequence and they they put it over there and they are able to open it but it's a very small amount of space they cannot get out of here and <laughs> nendo nendo gets uh, out a bed now this part is kind of interesting you know like you know you see that scene where nendo is um eating that uh, packet of chips and then underneath there's like a crowbar and uh, like a like a page with the number sequence and the potato chips packets you know that was uh, kind of interesting because um like these these are as far as i know these are uh as they said like an escape room game i've played a few of these i i don't actually remember their names but there is oh, there's one that i kind of remember uh, a very good escape room game i think it's called 999 nine hours nine doors nine something i don't remember what it's like the, the actual full name it's been a while i've played it and that was like a escape room game that i played and i remember uh, i've played a few other escape room games as well i don't remember those names however this is the major one that i played and i do remember it and it was a very interesting game you know like these games you usually have like a certain amount of time where you're like locked up in like a certain like in a few room and you have to get out of those rooms and get out of captivity like you know, that type of thing and these rooms have you usually you are stuck in with a group of friends and the games actually involve some crazy stuff for example sometimes you might need to split up from your friends sometimes you know there's a few friend might betray you sometimes you know like like there's like the whole trust thing also going on like an you know, oh who's betraying whom this and that and uh, like, a, like a very like thrilling what can i say suspenseful type of a thing and uh, the game that i played 999 was also kind of like that and uh, i do remember like yeah that was that was a really good game it also has a sequel i think i played the sequel as well uh oh the nonary games i think that was the name of the game you know what let me check the nonary games uh nonary something like that anyways what i'm trying to say here is yeah zero escape the non new games um <clears throat> uh, what i'm trying to say here is that it, it's kind of like that and in those games you get this like inventory where you randomly pick up stuff from the rooms like for example a crowbar like we see here uh, or like the, that sequence of things and you know like you kind of can examine those items and sometimes you can even combine them 
and it kind of reminded me of that i think that's what they were trying to do here where they put in that inventory like you know screen with the crowbar the the sequence and the potato chips and you know that's kind of i i got reminded of that you know anyways that was that was a fun little like you know i wouldn't call it a reference but uh yeah reference to the escape games that we have and uh it's quite fun if you've not played any of the escape games uh and you love playing games you should you should try one of them like non-order games is a good start because it's really interesting and uh, it's like a lot of things like a lot of suspense a lot of brain work you have to go through it's quite fun anyways um so yeah they then the dogs come in <laughs> and then the dogs like you know press the emergency exit button or whatever that was and the hatch on top opens and they're able to get out of there so there you go so psyche helped them out like that all right next one where we get to see akichi is here to uh meet uh to to uh to talk with his best friend to hang out with him <laughs> and he comes in and starts talking obviously just like always and at first sight he's like oh please leave but he gets in and uh oh no sorry the mom comes in yeah, Saiki's mom comes in and Saiki's mom is like oh what are you doing your friend is waiting for you why are you like you know driving him away and like he's like oh my god all right, fine, come in. And uh, <laughs> Akechi tries to introduce himself, and Akechi's like, "Oh, you probably remember me from, uh, like, you know, like Psyche's childhood." And she's like, "Oh, like, you know, it's like say some random name." And she's like, "Oh, no, I'm not that person. I'm, I'm someone else." And he gives his actual name. And still, she cannot remember. But then when <laughs> she was, he was like, "Oh, I peed myself." <laughs> Psyche's mom is like, "Oh, you're the the guy guy who peed himself." <laughs> Oh boy, that was funny. Anyways, uh, uh, Saiki's mom leaves, and uh, <clears throat> Akechi starts you kind know, of talking to him. And Saiki's like, "Why are you here? What do you need?" And uh, Akechi's like, "You you you can read people's mind, but you don't understand people's essences. You know, I'm actually here just to hang out with you." And uh, <laughs> at first, Saiki was like, "Just leave, then please. Like, don't bother me." And he's like, "Yeah, all right, I'm going to leave, but I'm going to tell your mom before I go." <laughs> It's like no, don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, and uh, then they start watching television. And at first, Cider Man was showing, but then in comes like horse racing, and they're like, "All right, let's play a game." So he's like, "If I win, I'm gonna get that cake in your fridge. Otherwise, you know, like I'll leave." And Psyche's like, "All right, fine, let's go." So here, obviously, we can we do know that Psyche, like, just since this is a television, Psyche cannot see what's going on like you know he cannot use his um what's it called like like his powers in a proper way like he cannot directly use it you have to do a lot of things to kind of see and uh, like you know like as we saw in the end he had to use two of his abilities i think clairvoyance and uh, mind reading and a few of them at the same time to actually properly understand uh, what's going on in the race what will go on in the race for example at first he probably just he just read the mind of that one guy and he was like oh this guy is one of the veterans and uh, he whatever he'll bet on will probably win so he didn't use that much you know like research he just saw one guy and uh, that's how he bet on one of the horses however Akechi using his deduct deducive ability somehow deduces which horse will win and that horse actually wins so next time psyche is like all right let's do it again later on and uh, this time psyche decided to go a little bit more further and uh, <laughs> i also find it funny how he did not give him the full cake he's like yep i did say you get the cake but i didn't say how much you'll get so there you go so psyche x uh psyche is like all right like let's do it again but this time if you know you'll get the full cake and uh, the next one is where Psyche makes one mistake. Psyche is like, you choose first. Akechi is like, all right, and he chose the correct one, you know, somehow deducing the possibility of which he'll win. He, he deduced the correct one, number five. And then Psyche tries to use all of his abilities. You know, he's using second sight, telepathy, uh, not second sight, so clairvoyance, telepathy, and uh, mind reading of the horses and everything he saw. In the end, he came to the conclusion that number five will win. But number five has already been chosen by Akechi. There you go. That was the mistake that he made. So he again went in with the other guy, the guy, the veteran guy says his, uh, his choice. That was number nine or something. And he lost again. 
so there you go and uh, <laughs> yeah so we can see here obviously in this situation psyche actually lost like in a proper game like you know like a contest usually he, he usually wins in these type of things because you know he can read minds and stuff however this was a little bit more trickier because it was happening on television and at first he didn't take it much seriously but the next time when he took it seriously he made the mistake of giving akachi the first turn so either way he wins again and he gets the cake <laughs> i love the fact that here akachi is like oh i mean i can be a good friend can i visit you again and it seems as if psyche is actually kind of like you know happy about that but then he suddenly says no thanks <laughs> oh my god <laughs> right all right now is the next part of uh he and uh, this guy sato uh sato is trying his best to kind of you know like to kind of uh make he like him and uh, the, like what happened here is like a few guys spilled their drinks on uh he and sato's like oh here you go here's my towel and obviously <laughs> like he's keeping an eye on them and reta is also here reta is like oh how dare he and uh He's like, all right, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to get in and see what's going on. And he goes in and he sees, like, and he's like, oh, hey, hey there, here you are. He, like, you know, Suzumiya. I think that's his name. You know, like, uh, how are you doing? Like, you know, like, uh, oh, I have my book. You don't need his book, so we can share. But as soon as he say, says that, a few other people, that same number of people comes in, spills the drink again. <laughs> Sato saves he, but he, but... You know, like Reta's whole thing gets spilled. So little by little, Sato's getting happier, and Reta's getting, you know, like more and more frustrated. And he tries multiple things. You know, um, what's his name? Uh, Reta. He tries multiple things. The next thing that he tries is like he's like, oh, should we like hang out after like you know like go on a date after the after school's over? But he's like, oh, I'm sorry, like you know, I've made prior choices with Sato. And Sato gets happier and he gets even like in a more like in a frustrated and depressed so oh boy and in the end uh, you know like uh, he's he's like oh wh where are you going and they say how her whole house burned down so they're going to a stationery shop or whatever wait a minute what just a minute okay my house burned down yesterday and my pain case was that's what you're bothered about? Your house burned down your thought. <laughs> and she's bothered about her pen case. <laughs> oh boy. And she's like, oh, we're going to a stationery shop. So Reta's like, alright, you know what? I'm also going to join. I also have something to buy. So <laughs> Sato's happiness kind of went up a little, uh, went down a little bit. And it again went to normal. Like that's the thing with Sato, you know? He always kind of normalizes everything. He was getting happier, but then again, it, it became a little bit like, you know, like, uh, sadder and it became normal so <laughs> yeah now after that we see uh, reta coming inside the stationery shop and as always suzumiya trips on a compass box or whatever and a few compass just swishes past uh, reta and he's like all right you know what i'll leave and he tells sato that i'll oh, take care of her and just runs away and psyche is just waiting outside like it's like yeah this is this is <laughs> what you were talking about you're just running away but then he realizes that the guardian spirit of uh suzumiya is this guy who is just you know like not doing his thing he's not doing anything to protect her so reta's like wait a minute i feel like i can do something here so he's like if i am able to make this guardian spirit proper again then then um what's his, her name uh suzumiya won't have any problem and then i can easily be with her you know like i can easily date her and psyche is like but how are you going to do it he says i need your help and psyche is like no i'm not going to help help because unless and until uh, where's that part give up on her then i will help you and says that'll defeat the purpose <laughs> i'm on sato's side and you just said you'd withdraw okay so at first he's like oh then i'll, I'll not help it because there's no merit 
But then when Saiki is going away, he's like, all right, fine. Okay, I will do as you say. Let's help her out. So there you go. Like I said, this is the first thing that we see about a little change in Reta. That is, he's actually helping someone out without any compensation. And uh, which is kind of unbelievable because he usually doesn't do that. Anything that is not like, you know, going to help him out or repay him somehow, isn't, he doesn't really usually do that. So there you go. So this is the first, not first time because I, I guess we did see sometimes he does something. Yeah, the whole situation with Psyche, he helps Psyche out completely without any yeah repayment i guess but uh no you know what uh when all the time that he have helped psyche out it was probably because he wanted to you know like be in the group and help like be his keep continue being his friend that is why you know like he he helped psyche out expecting that psyche will also help him out in the future but here this is the first time that we see that he's actually helping someone out without any repayment like you know like there's no 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 compensation nothing he's just helping that person out so there you go so that's for at uh, first he's like he tries to talk to this guardian spirit and he's just not listening in comes akechi so he's like oh akechi can you see him and he kind of like you know touches uh reita and reita like you know no sorry uh reita touches psyche and psyche touches akechi so akechi can see it and akechi starts deducing what this guy is at first he's like oh the poop is fake and he starts deducing about all the other stuff and they're like okay like can you like you know like all the suggestions are well and good but can you tell us how to change him and <laughs> uh, what's his name um uh, nendo's dad that is uh reta's guardian spirit he comes out and he's like ha 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 like you know what is this guy he's like oh you stink and grabs him, takes him and to the like you know waterfalls and starts cleaning him up and everything and starts kind of making him a lot more better, gives him a new loincloth. <laughs> and he kind of became a little bit better, however the, the, the arrow and the poop and everything are still there. And sometimes he's kind of reverting back to his own original self. So Reta's like, what should we do now? You know. So the guardian spirit, he's like, Oh, what's that you're wearing? The geta that you're wearing. Give it to me. So Psyche says, let's do <laughs> memorial service. <laughs> His geta went was sent to a memorial service right away. And he changed a little bit. The poop has changed and it's a geta on his head. And he has kind of changed. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm willing to protect her. So to see if he really has changed or not, they bring in Mikoto. Mikoto sees the aura and sees that everything is fine. The sinister aura is gone. So here, Reta, like they, they leave and Reta is like watching from the back and he's like, I never thought it would be solved this easily. If I had figured it out earlier, she'd have been mine. <laughs> and Psyche is like, I feel good having done at least a good deed. Okay, so in the end, he says like, this part is the funny part. Uh, <laughs> wait, didn't Psyche say that? Yeah, here Psyche is saying that, okay, he's saying I don't feel good at all, I have to give up on Hee-chan. And Psyche says, did I say that? He said that, didn't he? Wait a minute. And Rita's like, what? <laughs> Psyche's like, you'll be rejected soon anyway. No, wait, I remember Psyche saying that you have to give up on her. Didn't he say that? why oh my god great so he's like yeah i don't like you know do whatever you want to so i'm pretty sure if, i don't know like let's see like if reta is going to try again or not who knows because i feel like i don't know i, I get the feeling that that suzumiya is I, I don't know like i feel like suzumiya like if, if sato like you know I don't think Sato is going to confess or something, but if she had to choose someone, I'm pretty sure she'd still choose Reta. I don't see her choosing Sato, but I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I don't know even if you, we're going to get a conclusion to that or not. Maybe it'll be it'll be left alone since this is the final episode. I don't think if, if we're going to get a conclusion to Reta and <laughs> his situation, but let's see. This is the final episode. I 
don't think we're going to get any kind of conclusion to that but either way let's see let's see and uh, if you get a conclusion to their story that'll be interesting and uh, yeah anyways let us begin episode number six so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started right here's the countdown three two one go Restarting Psyche Kuso part one. Oh, here we go. Here's the one with the whole. There you go. We're resuming from there. I used to be a psychic. Imagine someone starting the show from this episode. <laughs> He's actually giving like a little recap for that. No. Tell her she's here. <laughs> Great. But oh my God, Nendo's here as well. Flame of black. Great. This probably catch up. <laughs> oh my god, he's here as well. <laughs> Everyone's here. What the hell? <laughs> it's rather disaster. <laughs> wow! <laughs> he doesn't, he cannot read. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, what happened with that? The, the, the glass broke? Yeah. Okay, then his. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is the first time we see Psyche. <laughs> I'm not okay. Now he has to talk. He has to talk now, physically. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Side found person. Hey, yo! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, he all she all Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, God loves her. God, she's blessed by God. So yeah, no way. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Okay, who else is in the group? <laughs> oh, 
Are these two the only ones? <laughs> yeah. It's only you. What the? Who are these characters? <laughs> okay, there. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> he is so lost. Oh, my God. Yeah? Great. Who were these guys? Where were these guys up until now when he had his psychic abilities? <laughs> no, you don't have your powers. Oh no. <laughs> yeah? Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. This is a problem. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you were. <laughs> oh, these. Th this guy's the same group. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> ah! Nendo's here. Yo! <laughs> Three people. Who, who are the... Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, they're running away. Because these three are here. Oh! Oh boy! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, like he needs to get used to all of this and... Ugh! Yeah! Yeah! No, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, Nendo. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. Where did these two guys come from? Where were they up until now when Psyche had his powers? Ah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, his head is bleeding. What? Well, what what happened with the books? Oh my god, what's what's up with this program? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, stop, you guys! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Great. Two stars? I have read so. Will he? Yeah, he's gonna talk up to it about it. Wait, what? Wait, he got his fuck. Oh, great. Not normal, even. Oh, what? Yeah, I was thinking, like, how? Evolve into different kind of. Oh, interesting. Makes sense. I can only usually like, the body might adapt to their powers. To mm. <laughs> rest. Well. Oh, he uh, his power is coming back. We're starting Psyche Kuso Part Four. No. <clears throat> yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> well, I don't think you can do that. Oh, he is getting it back. Yep. What, you got a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> he again got like, you know, just... <laughs> dark Union, yeah, exactly, Dark Union. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, he's like unconscious supporting everything, I feel like. <laughs> no. There you go. Oh, great. <laughs> Hey, yo, it's Felix Saliva! How is it weird? <laughs> he became invincible. Great. Yeah, your powers are going berserk now. Oh, nice. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, well, who is that guy? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Harunakun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> My heart rate will be back again. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo! <laughs> yeah. Favor. Hmm. I don't think it's possible. Yeah. Nothing. That's the thing, he got too accustomed to his powers. That Problem. Govern? Oh my god, what's going on? What the, Why are you here? Yeah. What? Oh my god. Two hours! Whoa. Yeah. Oh God. Yep. <sighs> nah. You do have. He does have his powers. So. Oh. <laughs> Screaming. Great. Wait, but Mikoto was saying it's not in the. No, what? Well. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Dad is. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, you have your power. You should. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, that's where it ended. All right, there you go. Like this is the thing, you know. Like like I was saying, he he got too accustomed to using his like you know like he, like you know, with his powers that obviously the first thing is like to adapt. He needs a lot of time, like and you know, a lot of problems is going to he's going to face, and. Uh, Probably he will adapt little by little, you know, I'm not saying he won't be able to ever adapt like a normal person He'll probably get adapted to how a normal person is without any psychic ability But the you know the thing that here is like there, this is the thing um, He's someone who has had his powers from the beginning So all the time whenever his friends and everyone got into any kind of like you know actual trouble he could easily like you know take care of it and that was that but now He's seeing that he actually himself decided to shove those powers aside and decided to become a normal person. Now, whenever those type of situations are coming, for example, Nendo got hurt, he's realizing how helpless he is. And there was something that he had that could have helped out his friends. But he decided to discard that. And that's probably, like, that's a very, what can I say, uh, a very not a very good feeling you know like just thinking about like oh i could have saved him if i had my power but i myself decided to just discard my power so okay that's it so that's a very i feel like it's a very frustrating feeling you know like and when everything like you know, when these type of situations happen psyche will be like yeah it was a mistake to actually discard my power like obviously he must have gone like you know, he must go through a lot of trouble because of his powers you know we saw like this whole couple of seasons we've seen so many things that he had to so many troublesome situations he had to go through however in the and, and like you know, normally he wasn't also wasn't able to enjoy a lot of things for example his daily life was all the time some way or the other affected because of his powers he always had to keep on the, the thing if he takes it out uh, you know he's going to injure someone not only that he he cannot see any type of like you know like like you know movies or anything like you know, always get spoiled by other people all these different things we saw you know like there's so many things that he has trouble with throughout his life you know like that stops him from becoming enjoying something normally but at the same time you know it's also true that because of his abilities there were so many things that he was able to help people out with and that is true throughout these four seasons We've seen so many situations where without Psyche's power, it would have been a disaster. And he helped out a lot of people and it that was a thing. So suddenly losing his power, you know, obviously there's a lot of things that he'll be able to enjoy normally. For example, watching movies, he can easily like, you know, touch someone without fearing for their life. Like, oh, they're going to get blown away or something. A lot of other things he'll be able to do. But also the fact is that he, also lost the ability to to help out a lot of people as well him getting injured and nendo saving him at that moment made him realize that that yeah i had the power that could have probably saved us both the trouble but i decided to discard it on my own so that's the thing you know like he he has been helping people out unconsciously never really thinking about it but now that he has lost his power he's realized how much his powers were essential and the the final what can i say the final thing that made him completely convinced that yeah <clears throat> i need my powers back is a meteorite where he realized that yeah you know what i'm pretty sure my troubles all the troubles that i go through if i'm a psychic 
those are temporary troubles that can be easily counteracted but people are in danger here i need to do something and yeah there you go that's what happened so what's the moral of this whole thing i think the moral is that obviously like you know psyches uh what can i say like not moral but the the thing we got to know from these all these episodes is that psyche like the the power that he had is something that brings up, up out a like and brings up a fair share of its troubles but in the end it's actually very helpful through like and because of for a lot of things like because up until now psyche didn't even have to think about something like you know like getting getting bullied by other people or you know uh, something life threatening happened to your friends you never had to even think about it you know because like every one of us even as audiences knew that oh these guys there with psyche everything will be fine that was the whole thing you know oh uh, all these people there with psyche this whole town this whole world is under psyche's protection everything will be fine nothing crazy is going to happen but as soon as he lost he lost his power yeah there wasn't that thing again you know even psyche himself started getting started getting endangered by a lot of things so that's the thing if you have a power like this it is going to bring a fair share of problems but at the same time it's going to bring out a lot of good things if you use the power for a good good stuff you know so its advantages heavily outweigh the disadvantages and i think that's what psyche realized by the end of it and uh yeah there you go and uh, th that i i feel like in the end him deciding to become a psychic again well, was the better thing to do you know because it is a power that brings more good to people than harm so yeah he should have it and he can help more people out with it and i'm pretty sure psyche himself is also a type of person who won't be able to sit still whenever people are in trouble and realizing that oh i had a power before and i decided to discard it it's probably going to bring him so much regret when something very bad is going to happen he'll, he'll probably regret his life and his choices he'll be like why did i give my power away so in the end you know that's the thing it's a good power so i'm glad that he got it back he decided to bring it back anyways um okay in this episode at first we get to see psyche <laughs> is introducing oh i'm a normal high school student i was a psych a psychic and uh, in the end i love how he says that oh i'm not a, i'm not a, uh, like you know tuny bio you know like because <laughs> the things that he was talking about kind of seem like a little bit of you know like the way kaido talks about things his whole tuny you know like thing that he does uh psyche that's why psyche like you know clarified he's like nope i'm not a tuny bio keep that in mind this actually happened <laughs> anyways he goes to school and um, you know like a lot of things are happening every every single person is in the class all the main characters main supporting characters are here and psyche is like what the hell happened here <laughs> you know, did someone forget to shuffle the cards <laughs> why is everyone here at the same class <laughs> oh my god and i love the fact that um uh when you know teruhashi was there and teruhashi is like um oh no sorry uh, before that happened and he psyche kind of explains us that what happened that day he did not he wanted to go to his friends and talk about the confess about the whole psychic power thing but he decided to postpone it because suddenly seeing that cockroach triggered his ability so he's going to like figure out what's going on before doing anything now obviously one thing is extremely we can see what's one thing that's happening is psyche is getting startled you know because up until now anyone who would probably come and talk to him he's probably he, he would have easily like you know heard them using his telepathy so he wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised that's how he has been accustomed to stuff so now without his telepathy suddenly someone like you know tapping on his back he's getting startled he's like oh my god what the hell <laughs> and yeah I, I, <laughs> and then what happened here is like psyche is talking about how he has lost his ability he cannot use telepathy not only that he also cannot use the x-ray vision that he does and he's like looking at teruhashi and he's like hmm up until now whenever i use my power you know like i i used to see almost up till up till, up till the muscles and everything you know the bones and everything and then he's keep you know, like, staring at keep staring at teruhashi and <laughs> Terrence is getting embarrassed and embarrassed 
And Saki's like, wait a minute, now that I look at her, she does have a well-chiseled face, you know? I love the way he describes it. <laughs> okay, where's that part? He doesn't say that, oh, she looks beautiful. She, he says that <laughs> well-chiseled face. Who says that? Oh boy, okay. She does have a chiseled face more than anyone else. <laughs> chiseled face! I understand what he's trying to say, but come on. <laughs> she could have easily said that, oh, she has a pretty face or a cute like, no, chiseled face. <laughs> okay. Uh, and she, he's like, oh, aside from a personality. <laughs> and and Kokomi gets like you know, embarrassed and Kokomi is like, oh, what's going on? Why is he looking at me? And then Saiki is like, oh, I'm kind of overdoing it. All right, let's look away. And obviously Teruhashi is like, oh, uh, the new assignment, you know, like people are like, you know, supposed to research on like, you know, the different countries and, you know, like he's, she's like, I've already, like, you know, uh, admit, uh, submitted my thing. So what are you going to put your name in? And you know what? I feel like, oh, probably not. Yeah, like, I was going to say, I feel like if he just asked Kokomi that, oh, where did you put? You could have easily, you know, like put something else and would be able to somehow like, you know, dodge uh, falling in the same group as Kokum. But I guess that would be a little bit rude, wouldn't it? Like, you know, imagine <laughs> asking your friend that, oh, where have you put your name in? And here, you know, like in this situation and she says that, oh, I, I did this. And then you decide to not do this and do something else because just because you don't want to get in the same group as that. That's that's kind of rude. So <laughs> I'm guessing that is why he did not ask him, ask her where she put her name in. Anyways, um, that's like a few of the, like, you know, uh, countries. So he was like, obviously, like, you know, my luck won't be that, like, you know, bad that I'll fall in the same group as Kokomi. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what happened because God loves her, you know. <laughs> and it's so funny that only those two are the ones who, who fell in the same group. There's Canada. So suddenly these two random dudes come in and they're like, oh, like, what is he doing? So annoying, you know, like, and you know what I was telling up until now, I was kind of saying that, oh, where were they up until now where Psyche had his ability? I realize, like, I realize what exactly happened. Like, at first I did not understand. I was like, why are they here now? Up until now, Saki had his ability. So why did they not come and pester him before that? But now I realize is that up until now, Saki has actually kept maintained distance from Kokomi because of his psychic abilities. His psychic abilities were the only reason why he was able to keep a distance with Kokomi. So that is probably why these two never really attracted, like, you know, like, uh, like the, these guys' attentions, like you know, like uh, Psyche never attracted these guys' attention. But now that his psychic abilities are not there and God is in Kokomi's team, you know, like everything, like is, is going to, he's going to get involved with Kokomi. So that is why he's actually uh, attracting attention and uh, makes sense, you know. Like I was kind of, I was confused. I was like, why, why have we not seen these guys up until now? Why are they suddenly appearing? Makes sense because now he doesn't have any ways to. Keep his distance from Kokomi. All the things that he's, he's kind of participating in, Kokomi is joining in because you know they're in the same class. Also, they are, you know, in the same group as well. So that's why these guys are like you know, actually being a troublesome, like being a bother now. Either way, uh, Psyche is constantly forgetting that he's like you know, lost his abilities. He's kind of thinking that he's going to do something, and then he's realizing that oh, I cannot do it. That was my ability. And he's doing some weird things. The first thing is like, oh, I let me use clairvoyance. Then he's like, oh, I don't have clairvoyance. He tries to use uh, levitation or whatever, cannot do it. And uh, these guys, they come in and they're like, oh, like, you know, what are you doing? You know, just starts bothering him. And Kokomi comes in. And as soon as Kokomi comes in, these guys change their tune. And uh, yeah. So they're like waiting for their time to bother Psyche. So later on, um, we, all, we also get to see that Chiho uh, Umehara has been in the same group as uh, Kaido, you know, thankfully. And, uh, <laughs> and Kokumi is like kind of gathering his her courage to 
they can invite Psyche to a cafe to like, you know, do the whole assignment and everything and then they'll come in and they're like oh what are you guys doing like you know our group has three people like and <laughs> we're like you know we're, we're doing the research and the three people in the group is Nendo, Reta and Kuboyasu and that's why none of the work has been done properly now at this moment we see these two guys kind of tiptoeing away and I thought they were running away because Nendo and all his group is here but that was actually not the case they were tiptoeing because they were going to drop the bookcase on Psyche and that's what they do and it falls on him and obviously psyche is like okay like you know i don't have my power that's why i wasn't able to realize what was going on and then he's like but wait a minute i don't have my power so why am i not hurt and he sees nendo there like you know like you know covering for him and he's like bleeding and everything and these two guys get uh, caught by uh, kubayasu and uh, reita and obviously the, those two teach them a lesson and uh, Psyche like gets up and Psyche's like, oh, like, you know, I understand now. Like, you know, I, I like, you know, what does he say here? Where's that part? I never thought, he actually says this in, like, you know, with his mouth, in his voice. He says, I never thought I'd be, have to be protected by someone. Because, yeah, up until now, he was the one who did all the protecting. So... Yeah, and this is the thing, you know, I feel like this is also another very, I wouldn't call it stressful, but this is like a thing that actually mentally bothers you. That is, imagine someone who has been protecting someone or doing something. If they suddenly lose their power and they themselves become the person who is to be protected by someone, it's going to bother them extremely, you know, because I don't know, it's like a huge mental stress, I feel like. Like someone who has been helping, like just imagine something like this, like someone who has been helping someone out, suddenly they lose that somehow. And the person who has been, he's been helping out, that person starts helping that person. Obviously, it's a very nice thing, you know, like up until now, Psyche's help was helping all these, like, you know, Nendo and everyone out without them even knowing. But now Nendo and they are helping him out. It's a very nice scene, you know, like a very heartwarming scene. But imagine the what can i say imagine how it feels to the person who's in that situation psyche was the one who has been protecting everyone and he did it obviously from the good of his heart but now he's realizing that he's in the same position now and people have to protect him and he's realizing that like it must feel extremely what can i say bad for him. he must be feeling extremely bad here he's like like, oh, what the hell? Like, I had my power. And he, I think he, here's where he says that maybe it was a wrong decision to give my power away. I think that's what he says here. But obviously, Nendo is like, oh, like, you know, we all help each other out, you know? Like, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone has been helped out at least once, even once by someone. So it's not that surprising. And Psyche thanks him, you know, like, properly. I think it's like the first time we actually see him thanking someone using his own voice and uh, there you go but either way uh, next we get to see uh, in their house <laughs> mom and dad are actually watching like a television thing and uh, Kuske is there Psyche comes in and Psyche brings Kuske to like a corner to tell him about this situation so here was the like kind of shocking part when he was talking to me he does the whole like you know like bangs the wall and it's like breaks down and i'm like wait a minute did he like get his power back or something but here kuske tells us an interesting thing he says like do you realize that your body has actually changed you know because your body has been keeping up with the crazy stuff that you pull out you know your body has actually adapted to it that is why your body is actually superhuman now because it has been uh like you know uh, it has been uh, trying to adapt to your psychic abilities. Here's the thing. Where's the part where he says that? That means you're not normal even without psychic abilities. For example, this. You can still do this without psychic abilities. But average people can't do such a thing. I assume you have evolved into a different kind of human being in order to control your inborn psychic abilities. If your brain and muscles have transformed to adapt to your physical, uh, uh, psychic abilities, it's possible that you have your abilities back. There you go. So, interesting thing. I never thought about it, you know. Like, yeah. 
His body must be different if he's able to withstand all the psychic abilities that he does. And it never really occurred to me up until now when Kuste kind of pointed it out. Makes sense, you know, like his body adapted to contain the physical psychic abilities. And that's why he's saying like, because of that, your psychic abilities might be coming back. So try not to get agitated. Try to like, you know, live a peaceful life and everything will be fine. But obviously this is psyche's... <laughs> This is Psyche's life, you know, it's not peaceful at all. Crazy stuff happens. So he's going back to school next day and so many things happen. At first he sees like, you know, like, uh, like Nendo's skull and bones and everything. And he's realizing that he can, he's getting his abilities back little by little. Then he suddenly sees, uh, like, you know, hears the, all the words for using telepathy. You know, not only that. Um, okay, he sits down. And uh, yeah, his Kubas when like you know they come in and they're like, oh, um, like you know I lost my key, you know, and, and those library books are also gone. So Psyche suddenly gets like a clairvoyance, you know, that something is in the locker, and the books are there obviously, and then he suddenly the the key comes out of his mouth, <laughs> then it disappears completely, like you know vanishes. And Reita comes in and taps on his back and uh, at first I was like, is this old man that is following Reita? Is he like a like spirit or something? And I'm like, who is this guy? And Psyche asks the same thing. Okay, so <laughs> Reita says that He is Haruna, a freshman. I brought him here. Doesn't he look oh my god, so this guy's like a student. <laughs> It just looks old. It's like, oh, how are you, senpai? <laughs> so that was a false alarm. That I, <laughs> Psyche thought that was a ghost. I also thought that was a ghost. That was not a ghost. That was like a random student who just looks old. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, he's getting his powers back and he's un like, you know, kind of realizing it. And Reta's like, oh, you've gotten, you're getting pow your powers back. That's crazy. And Psyche gets agitated and just draw, teleports to his house and he's like, yep, yeah. He tries to deny it. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm not getting my powers back. But Kuska's like, yep, you are getting your power back because I can see what's happening. And then Kuska's like, all right, nice thing you've got your power back. I need your help. But when Psyche's like, no, I'm not going to use my powers, this and that, you know, um, Okay, uh, yeah, Kuske also asks him, so how do you feel now that you've lost your powers? Anything good happened? And Psyche remembers, you know, like what happened up until now and he's thinking like, nah. But either way, he's like, alright, fine, you're not going to use your powers, then I'll try to deal with the problem on my own. So next, we just get to know what the problem is, a meteorite is coming. Now, for a moment, I did think that maybe this is like Kuske's like a little ploy or something that he's doing this to trick Psyche into, you know, like understanding how he needs his power. And uh, it's like a fake news or something. But by the end of it, I realized it's not a fake news. It is actually happening. Because for a moment, I did think it was like something fake or something that Kuske is just doing so that Psyche realizes how much he needs his power and how much he requires it. Either way, uh, we see like, you know, like the meteorite coming in. Uh, Kuske <laughs> put his dad <laughs> inside that metal suit and he's like <laughs> the dad probably doesn't even know the dad dad is like oh i've put this on as you told what is this <laughs> he doesn't know <laughs> and that is why later on you know when as, when we when we see outside what's happening we see his dad struggling his dad is like no i'm not going to do it <laughs> and kuska's like you know trying to force him to go and save the world or whatever <laughs> Uh, that's funny but anyways and uh, Psyche is looking at the news and he's like using his like you know um, clear voice he can see everyone like you know like all the friends that he has that has helped him out up until now and uh, you know like Hairo, Nendo, Kaido, uh, Yumehara, uh, Mikoto, Mera, you know Rif Rifta, uh, all of them, Teruhashi you know Teruhashi is just there. Teruhashi is like, oh no, I'm not moving from here because God loves me and like, you know, like I'm not, I'm not moving from here. 
And he, she says, like, I will never let this happen unless and until I've made Psyche say, wow. And she says, like, do something, God. And Psyche, by the end of it, Psyche is like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I have to do something. And uh, it says that perhaps Techno Trouble loves me. That's what's going on. But you know what? Oh, well. And then he introduces himself in the end that I am psychic, so I am a psychic. And that's very end. It's so interesting how, how like, you know, I think like even the first episode started with this line, I'm psychic, so I'm a psychic. And it ended in the, with this line as well, I'm psychic, so I'm a psychic. So there you go. He accepts his power by the end of it. And like I said, I think this is the perfect conclusion that could have come to this. Like, you know, like we've always seen Psyche struggling with his powers, thinking how good it would be to lead a normal life but in the end he realizes that even though it will be good to live a normal life using this the power that he has have had at, up until now does a lot of good things as well everything's not bad and uh, the fact that he's not able to help his friends out and in these type of situations especially he's like no i need to get my power back and uh, there's so many things to think about here first of all we see how this has changed Psyche as a person as well, you know. Uh, he's actually thinking about everyone, his friends and everything. He was a lot aloof before in the first few episodes of the season, you know. Uh, but here we can see he's actually feeling bad because his friends are actually getting troubled because of, like, you know, his problems. And uh, he's not able to help them out. This shows how he has changed as a person as well. Not only has he, like, you know, obviously his power, he has lost his power, but because of the amount of time he has spent with his friends and everyone, we see we can see how he has changed. He has changed from a completely aloof guy to a person who really cares about his friends. And that's the best part, you know. And that is exactly why he was feeling bad. He was feeling bad that his friends are getting hurt because of him. And even if, like, you know, some kind of a troublesome situation befalls them, he cannot help them out. That's why. That is why, you know, that is the main reason why he took up took back his powers again because of his friends and family and i feel like that's the best thing you know like because i feel like for himself he probably wouldn't have taken gotten his powers back like if he himself was being inconvenienced with because of his lack of power he probably could have would have just like you know just forced himself through it i think but since his friends are getting involved in this situation and everyone's like you know future is getting jeopardized he decided to get back his power because of that not only his friends his family as well so there you go this this shows how much he has changed and uh, yeah like psyche is the best with psychic abilities and uh, now that he's gotten his powers back again you know like he might he might definitely he will go through a lot of troublesome situations he will probably not be able to live a normal life you know he won't be able to watch a movie properly he'll get spoiled immediately but it's better than like another but, but at the same time it's it's he, it also brings in so much good stuff you know he's able to protect his friends help them out and so many things he can do and uh, yeah he's decided to um, like, you know, he's decided to accept that those minor inconveniences for the the bigger good you know the 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 wellness of his family and his friends that's that's the best conclusion to this and uh yeah i would have loved to see how this whole thing i guess like but uh, they probably would have to extend this thing you know because i i was going to say i would have loved to see how uh this whole thing ended you know uh, psyche i don't know graduates and everything and uh you know like what happens after that in his life i would have loved to see that uh, what happens to his friends, you know, what they do and all that. But obviously, you know, like, like I said, it would have gotten a way more bigger if that can, if this continues. So they decided to conclude it here. I think that's, this is the end. So yeah, I'm glad. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about, I'm pretty sure this, the anime probably skipped a lot of parts from the manga. Uh, but I do wonder maybe some, some stuff got skipped. I'll, I'll probably check the manga out a little bit and see which parts were skipped and uh, yeah read those parts or yeah anything something like that i'll do either way a great conclusion and uh, yeah this was that was the end this was this was one of the funniest series obviously you know like everything the fourth wall breaking and everything it was just hilarious this series is really good one of the best 
so that is it guys thank you for watching this was my reaction to the disastrous life of psyche k uh, season four episode number five and six and yeah these two were the final episodes of these series if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys now let me say what i'm going to be doing from next week onwards uh obviously i did two episodes every week for psyche k uh so what i'm going to do is obviously a new anime is going to replace this not one but i'll be replacing this show with two new animes and i'm not going to do two episodes for each series because you know like i used to do two episodes for one series in this day what i'm going to do is react to two two series but one episodes every week if you understand what i'm trying to say so what's going to happen is that i'll start two series from next week onwards these the name of these two series i, I talked about this before as well is number one jujutsu kaisen season one obviously i've not seen season one still so i want to do that before season two comes out and uh, another one is cyberpunk edge runners which is also another show that i haven't seen so next week onwards uh on this day uh jujutsu kaisen season one one episode cyberpunk edge runners one episode every week that's how i'm going to like you know kind of go so there you go i'll like i'll make a community post so that everyone could, can get to know that so anyways yeah that's it thank you for watching and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day